Hi. So you've been studying rocks and minerals and the rock cycle, and you're probably right about time for the fossil unit. And I'm sure one of the things you've wondered is, why do we find fossils in sedimentary rocks? So we have a little demonstration today to help you out with that. And we like to call it the da -da -da sedimentary sandwich. And if we have time, we might throw a little metamorphic in it too. So first of all, we have to imagine making a sedimentary rock. We know that um, sedimentary rocks happen when pieces of rock um, are layered up and then over time, there's um, things that cement them together, and there's pressure, and they kind of group together and form sedimentary rocks. But now, we want to talk about what happens if an animal dies and falls into that layer and eventually becomes a fossil. So, to start off with, we need a base layer of rock. So, I have my base layer of rock. And besides having the layer of rock, there's usually some kind of mud or uh, other mushy gushy things that layer up on top of it over time. So we're going to spread this out here because time happens and... Dead plant material. Dead plant material, right? Is that humus or hummus? Hmm. I think it's the humus because no human should eat humus. They should eat hummus. Yeah. All right. So, got some dead plant material, some liquid, some mud situated there, okay? And our animal dies. Now we know when an animal dies, animals are made up of two different types of substances. There are the bones, which are hard, and then there's the skin and the organs, and those are kind of fleshy or soft. So, uh, we're gonna put a little animal together here. I have some animal bones that I'm going to stick onto um, this rock layer where it died. And I'm going to add some fleshiness to it. So we've got some animal organs. Ooh, that sounds like a nummy sandwich. Animal organs, some skin, some soft parts, okay? Oops. So we've got the hard parts and the soft parts of our animal layered up there on top of the base rock layer. Now over time, some more things fall on top of it. Remember, it's a sedimentary rock. So we've got some pebbles, some fruity pebbles here, and those rocks and other small pebbles. You got lots of pebbles on there, okay? They fall on top of it. And then we also get um, some more dead plant material that maybe gets um, layered up with another layer of rock dead plant material does not want to come off here at all. There we go. And so eventually all of these things layer up and then we have to wait for time. So a sedimentary sandwich, the animal died, he fell in, things got piled on top of him, and time goes by. Dun, 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 dun. Ding. All right, time's up. So, if we look inside our sedimentary sandwich, and there's lots of rocks there, we can still see, this lamb's going to come in for a little close up here, we can still see the bones, the potato chips, and the bananas, the fleshy parts, all right? So this is a sedimentary rock, sedimentary sandwich, and over time, if it stayed there long enough, those bones and the, um, the fleshy parts would dissolve away and the bones would stay and eventually, if everything was right, it would become a fossil. Now, that's great for sedimentary, but sometimes sedimentary rocks get buried under more and more layers of rock and there's pressure. Hang on. Lots and lots of pressure. And that pressure over time spread it out. Pressure over time is going to change the shape of the sedimentary rock. And we call that metamorphic when we add pressure. Now let's take a look. Ready for my close-up, Mrs. Lamb? I'm not sure I can get this apart anymore. All right, so if we look here, you can see that the sedimentary rock 
has really changed. And I don't see any bones anymore. I see that the, the bananas are still kind of there a little bit, but it definitely looks different than it did before. Well, over time, besides the pressure, there's also heat that happens. So hold on for a minute. Let's put this under some heat. Next pause is Glenn.